and his wife are the last dignitaries to see JFK alive. So they're on that balcony waving to President Kennedy and the First Lady as they approach Dealey Plaza. So now, hey, they made it. As far as the Secret Service was concerned, they made it. They got to Houston Street. This was the home base because of it all being all open through here. So now all they had to do was make the turn, head down. Now the original, the original parade route called for them to just keep going straight. Why do they need to make a turn? Just keep going straight, go under the bridge and get on the freeway. Well, they realized that it, they, someone had made a logistical error. There was no ramp to get the president onto the freeway under this right here. They just assumed there was, but there wasn't. So they realized they had to change the parade route. They had to make the turn here and then a left on Elm, and then they can get on the parade, the, 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 um, um, uh, the, the freeway. You can see them getting on the freeway over there. It was a simple logistical error. I know over the years people have thought that maybe there was something nefarious about them changing the parade route. There was nothing nefarious about it. Okay, so they make the turn on the Houston Street. And nobody's paying any attention to this seven-story brown brick building that would become the uh, known as the infamous Texas School Book Depository. That's the, the warehouse that's housed all of the school books for the Dallas Independent School District. We know that a young ex-Marine named Lee Harvey Oswald had gotten a job there about six weeks before the assassination. A neighbor had helped get him a job there, and we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, uh, so a neighbor feeling sorry for, the, for uh, Oswald couldn't get a job anywhere in the city. When, when, you, when you look at his Texas Work Commission records in the, going into the, through the summer of 63, he's trying to get a job mounting tires and doing all that. He finally gets a job here because a neighbor helped get him a job there. We know that 1230 is where the kill shot basically takes Kennedy's life. They cross over this crosswalk, waving to the crowds, and somebody hears a pop. They thought it was maybe a motorcycle backfire. The first shot did not hit the president. Then the second shot rings out. Kennedy's hit. Okay, now we know he's being assassinated. Clint Hill, in his book, said, I knew that a kill shot was coming. He's trying to get to the president when Kennedy's head is blown apart right here. This is Jackie crawling across the back of the limousine. Clint Hill has jumped onto the back, her agent. He's desperately trying to get Jackie in their seat because she's going to get thrown out. They get onto 35 North. The president has been mortally wounded now. He's been struck as they went through the plaza. You can see the cars over here. That's where they raced Kennedy around that corner. Now, Clint Hill is Jackie's agent. He's the man that you see jumping onto the back of the limousine. 